So let's say I wanted to put the put this sand dude image in the background of the of the canvas and have it so uh, well here let's just uh, do that right here I'm going to say edit free transform increase the size of this right here remember to hold down shift so we don't get this happening which nobody wants to be happening right there and obviously I want all of the text to be showing up in front of it unfortunately for some reason this is covering up uh, the uh, Sandy Dunes guy all of his name information which isn't very helpful so what's happening I told you that there's only three windows that we need to worry about, the canvas, the tools, and the layers. So this is where layers comes in right here. Every object is treated as its own layer. So if I were to say, select all, control A, copy, control C, and then paste, control V, notice that another layer appears. Here, let me paste that in again. Pay attention to the layers palette. Control V, a new layer appears. So notice that a new layer appears. This is what allows me to drag these differently. If it's on a different layer, I can treat it as its own individual object. Each individual object is on its own layer. Or to rephrase that, each individual layer is its own object. So I'm just going to hit delete to get rid of that layer and that object. I'm going to move this up. Now, if I want this to be behind all of the text, all I need to do is I need to drag this layer and move it behind all of the text. Now it's a little hard to see this text right here, so what I can also do is up here, I can decrease the opacity of this layer, which is exactly what I want to do in this case. Let's say I wanted to add another image. So I'm going to go here, and let's add a little bit of a lake. Looks good. I'm going to decrease the size of it. Fantastic. Wonderful. Hit OK. You'll notice what happened is this lake got set up as its own layer. If I had another lake, here let's add in another lake. When I drag this in, this is yet another layer. And if I wanted this lake to be behind this lake, all I need to do is drag it down here. Starting to get it, if I click up here, it jumps to this layer. If I wanted to delete this, I would hit delete. If I wanted this to be behind this text right here, in fact, let's change the color of that. And let me just uh, select all of it, go to color, make it red just so it's easier to say, see. Press OK. Here's a quote about sand dunes. If I wanted to make this go behind the image, let's say I put it up here. I'm going to use my arrow keys to nudge it a little bit. If I were to move it down here, it would go behind the image. So the layer stacking order determines the order that you see them in the stack. The furthest at the bottom means it's the furthest at the bottom. Like the lower it is, the further it is behind. It's as if one is on top of the other on top of the other. I think that makes sense. I'm pretty happy with that explanation. There's a couple of other things I wanted to show you about layers, and then we'll get into a bit more confusing stuff. Uh, there's a little eye icon right here. You can click it on and off in order to see it and nice not see it. So if I just click this on and off, uh, it just you know turns it on and off. If you want to completely get rid of a layer, all you need to do is drag it to the trash can down here. So you'll notice there's a few icons down here. They allow you to do all sorts of stuff. Let me grab this image. You'll notice when I click on it, it immediately makes it so this is the layer that's selected. If I were to drag it down here, it would delete it. Let's undo that. If I were to drag it down here to the icon next to it, it duplicates it. So you'll notice that now in the layer palette, we have two versions of this layer. Now, you're probably noticing that you only see one version of the layer. The reason for that is one object is directly on top of the other one. So if I move it, now we're able to see both of them. Starting to get it? Excellent. I could shift select it, so multiple layers are selected. So now we have multiple layers selected. I'm going to drag them both at the same time. And now we have four layers, which we don't see. But if I drag this up here, now we can see four. If I wanted to select multiple ones, I could just shift select them like this, duplicate it, and now we have eight layers. Understand? So let's say I wanted to organize these a little bit. I'll show you that in the next video.